Dear students, welcome. This is our second class on reduction formula. Let us start. Obtain a reduction formula for integration sin to the power mx cos to the power nx. We have to obtain a reduction formula for integration sin to the power mx cos to the power nx. Let i am equal to i am m equal to i am m equal to integration sin to the power mx cos to the power nx dx. Here you see sin x whole to the power m cos x whole to the power m. For that we have written i am m. We have written here I am M. M means sin x whole to the power that power M. Cos x whole to the power M means the, the second one M. This can be written as cos to the power N minus 1 x sin to the power M x cos x. This can be obviously written in this form because cos to the power N minus 1 x into cos x equal to cos to the power N x. This is equal to cos to the power nx. Now, we shall integrate this by parts. Taking sin to the power mx cos, to the cos x as the second function. Taking sin to the power mx cos x as the second function. Let us see. This is equal to cos to the power n minus 1 x integration of the second function. Integration of the second function. Minus the differentiation of the first function cos to the power m minus 1x and the integration of the second function the integral of this what we have done we have integrated this by parts taking sin to the power mx cos x as the second function sin to the power mx cos x as the second function integrating by parts you may write here integrating by parts integrating by parts taking sin to the power mx cos x as the second function now this is equal to cos to the power n minus 1 x what is the integration of sin to the power mx cos x if you put sin x equal to z cos x dx will be equal to dz z to the power m dz what is the integration of z to the power m with respect to z it will be equal to z to the power m plus 1 by m plus 1. z to the power m plus 1 by m plus 1. What is z sin x? Therefore, you will get sin to the power m plus 1 x divided by m plus 1. Divided by m plus 1. Minus differentiation of this m minus 1 cos to the power m minus 2 x differentiation of cos x it is minus sin x. Similarly, integration sin to the power mx cos x will be equal to sin to the power m plus 1 x divided by m plus 1. Sin to the power m plus 1 x divided by m plus 1. This dx. Just integrate this by parts. This is a differentiation of this. Perhaps you understand this one. Left hand side is equal to I am M. It is I am M. This is equal to you may write here cos to the power sin to the power first you write sin to the power m plus 1x cos to the power m minus 1x divided by m plus 1. Minus minus means plus n minus 1 divided by m plus 1. n minus 1 divided by m plus 1. What is this? Integration. Sin to the power m plus 1 x into sin x. Sin to the power m plus 1 x into sin x will be equal to sin to the power m plus 2 x. Which can be written as sin to the power m x into sin square x. Into sin square x. You may write here cos to the power m minus 2 x. 
sin to the power m plus 2x can be written as sin to the power mx into sin square x. You may write in this way. You may write in this way. <coughs> Which is equal to sin to the power m plus 1x cos to the power m minus 1x divided by m plus 1 plus m minus 1 by m plus 1 integration sin to the power mx cos to the power m minus 2x for sin square x I am writing here 1 minus cos square x dx cos square x dx this is equal to sin to the power m plus 1x cos to the power m minus 1x divided by m plus 1 plus m minus 1 by m plus 1 this into 1 will be equal to this means sin to the power mx cos to the power m minus 2x dx minus dx minus minus now we will write this into this cos to the power m minus 2x into cos power x it will be equal to cos to the power nx minus n minus 1 by m plus 1 integration sin to the power mx into cos to the power nx it will be equal to this because cos to the power n minus 2x into cos power x will be equal to cos to the power n minus 2 plus 2x means cos to the power mx now it is i m n this means i m n equal to i m n this is equal to i m n equal to sin to the power m plus 1x cos to the power m minus 1x by m plus 1 plus n minus 1 by m plus 1 what is this i m n stands for integration sin to the power mx cos to the power nx therefore integration sin to the power mx cos to the power m minus 2x will be equal to i m n minus 2 i m n minus 2 it will be equal to i m n minus 2 minus m minus 1 by m plus 1 it is definitely i m n it is i m n this means 1 plus take this term to the left hand side 1 plus m minus 1 by m plus 1 i m n this is equal to sin to the power m plus 1 x into cos to the power m minus 1x divided by m plus 1 plus m minus 1 by m plus 1 i am m minus 2 i am m minus 2 Now, multiply both sides by m plus 1. Multiply both sides by m plus 1. You will get m plus 1 plus n minus 1 i m n. This is equal to sine to the power m plus 1 x cos to the power n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 i m n minus 2. I am n minus 2. You will get this. Plus 1 minus 1 will be cancelled. Now divide both sides by m plus m will be equal to sine to the power m plus 1x 
os to the power m minus 1x divided by m plus m plus m minus 1 by m plus m i am m minus 2 that is what is i am m sine to the power mx cos to the power nx dx equal to sine to the power m plus 1x cos to the power m minus 1x divided by m plus m plus m minus 1 by m plus m into integration sine to the power mx cos to the power m minus 2x dx which is the required reduction formula which is the re required reduction formula This is the required reduction formula. If IMN stands for integration sine to the power mx cos to the power nx, then IMN equal to this divided by m plus n plus n minus 1 by m plus n i am n minus 2. Now notice, <coughs> notice one thing. Notice one thing. Sine to the power mx cos to the power nx. In the previous example, in the previous problem, we wrote cos to the power cos to the power nx as cos to the power n minus 1x into cos x. If I write sine to the power mx equal to sine to the power m minus 1x into sine x, then we may write it that way also. Then it will become sine to the power m minus 1x cos to the power nx into sine x. We may write like this also. Sine to the power m minus 1x cos to the power nx into sine x. We may write like this. Now integrate this by parts regarding cos to the power nx sine x as the second function. What is the integration of cos to the power nx into sine x? Definitely it is minus cos to the power n plus 1x divided by n plus 1. Cos, cos to the power n plus 1x divided by n plus 1. Now, alternatively, we are going to find the reduction formula of integral sine to the power mx cos to the power nx in an alternative way. Alternatively. Now you may write here which is the required reduction formula. Which is the required reduction formula? This is the required reduction formula. Alternatively, alternatively, I am m. This is equal to integration sine to the power mx cos to the power nx dx. Sine to the power mx cos to the power nx dx alternatively last time we wrote cos to the power nx as cos to the power n minus 1x into cos x this time we are going to write sine to the power mx equal to sine to the power m minus 1x into sine x this is equal to integration sine to the power m minus 1x cos to the power nx into sine x we may write like this also. Now integrate this by parts regarding cos to the power nx sin x as the second function. That's <coughs> the second function. This is equal to, this means, this means, I am writing here, I am m, equal to first function sine to the power m minus 1x, into integration of the second function, minus the differentiation of the first function, into integration of the second function, the integral of this integrating by parts regarding cos to the power nx sin x as the second function integrating by parts
integrating by parts. This means I am n equal to sin to the power m minus 1x. What is the integration of this? If you put cos x equal to j, then sin x dx will be equal to minus dj. What will be this integration? Minus z to the power m dz minus with a minus sign. Z to the power m dz, z, z to the power m plus 1 divided by m plus 1. This means it will be minus cos to the power m plus 1x divided by m plus 1. We will get this. Minus differentiation of this will be equal to m minus 1 sin to the power m minus 2x. The differentiation of sin x is cos x. The integration of this minus cos to the power m plus 1x divided by m plus 1. Differentiation of this into integration of this. Now, this means I am n equal to minus sine to the power m minus 1x cos to the power m plus 1x divided by m plus 1 minus minus plus m minus 1 by m plus 1 integral this time c sine to the power m minus 2x cos x into cos to the power m plus 1x cos x into cos to the power m plus 1x means cos to the power m plus 2x which can be written as cos to the power nx into cos square x into cos to the power nx into cos square x in the next step we will write cos square x as 1 minus sin square x you may write in this step also This is equal to minus sine to the power m minus 1x cos to the power m plus 1x divided by m plus 1 plus m minus 1 by m plus 1 integral sine to the power m minus 2x cos to the power nx for cos square x you may write 1 minus sine square x dx 1 minus sine square x dx This is equal to minus sine to the power m minus 1x cos to the power m plus 1x divided by m plus 1 plus m minus 1 by m plus 1. This into 1, it will be equal to integration sine to the power <coughs> m minus 2x cos to the power nx minus minus m minus 1 by m plus 1 m minus 1 by m plus 1 sine to the power m minus 2x into sine square x sine to the power m minus 2x into sine square x will be equal to sine to the power m minus 2 plus 2 means sine to the power mx will be equal to integration sine to the power mx into cos to the power mx you will get this one This means I am n equal to minus sine to the power m minus 1x cos to the power m plus 1x divided by m plus 1 plus m minus 1 by m plus 1. What is this? I am n stands for integral sine to the power mx into cos to the power nx dx therefore integration sine to the power m minus 2x into cos to the power nx will be equal to i m minus 2 m will be equal to i m minus 2 m again minus m minus 1 by n plus 1 this is i am simple i am now, we will take this term to the left hand side. We will take this term to the left hand side. 
This means 1 plus m minus 1 by n plus 1 i m m equal to minus sine to the power m minus 1 x m plus 1 i m minus 2 m now multiply both sides by m plus 1 if you multiply both sides by m plus 1 you will get i m n equal to minus sine to the power m minus 1 x into cos to the power m plus 1 x plus m minus 1 i m minus 2 m you will get this you will get this minus 1 plus 1 will be cancelled now divide both sides by m plus m divide both sides by m plus m you will get i m m equal to minus sine to the power m minus 1 x cos to the power m plus 1 x divided by m plus m plus m minus 1 by m plus m i m minus 2 m that is, you may write integration sine to the power mx cos to the power mx dx equal to minus sine to the power m minus 1x cos to the power m plus 1x divided by m plus m m plus m plus m minus 1 by m plus m integration sine to the power m minus 2x cos to the power nx dx this is the reduction formula it has been reduced sine to the power mx it is reduced by 2 you see here yeah. i am minus 2 which is the required reduction formula which is the required reduction formula which is the required reduction formula Perhaps you understand this. <coughs> now, This is the report reduction. Now, <clears throat> we shall find a reduction formula for this in case of definite integral. Now, to prove that, to prove that, if I am n equal to, we shall take the limit from 0 to pi by 2, sine to the power mx, cos to the power mx dx, then, then number one i m m equal to i m m then number one i m n equal to i m m number two i m m equal to m minus one by m plus m i m n minus two and number three i m m equal to m minus 1 by m plus m i m minus 2 m i m n equal to i n m what is i m n integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x whole to the power this m cos x whole to the power the power of sin x will be written in the first i m after the comma, we shall write cos x whole to the power n, the n, the power of, uh, from, uh, of cos x. Cos x whole to the power n will be written 
अवतार को मा एम साइन एक्स डी इंडेक्स ऑफ और डी पावर ऑफ एम पावर ऑफ साइन एक्स विल बी रिटेन बिफोर को मा नाउ आई एम आई प्रूफ आई एम गोइंग टू प्रूफ दिस आई एम एन इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू पाई बाई टू साइन टू डी पावर एम एक्स cos to the power n x dx integration of this is equal to this this can be written as integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power m pi by 2 minus x cos to the power m pi by 2 minus x dx we can write like this using the property of definite integral which is since integration 0 to a fx dx equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx a minus x dx using this property we may write like this the lower limit must be 0 0 to a fx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx a minus x dx here a is equal to pi by 2 therefore the lower limit is 0 check it 0 it should be 0 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power m for x we have uh, written pi by 2 minus x for this x also pi by 2 minus x this is equal to this is equal to this is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 sin pi by 2 minus x is equal to cos x it will be equal to cos to the power mx cos pi by 2 minus x is equal to sin x sin to the power nx this is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power nx cos to the power mx dx now compare it with this i am an equal to this sin x we have check we, we should check 0 to pi by 2 it is yes it is 0 to pi by 2 sin x to the power m for there we should write i m first then we should put a comma cos x whole to the power m after comma we should write m obviously this means integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power nx cos to the power mx sin to the power nx cos to the power mx Therefore, I am an equal to I am M. The first one has been proved. Therefore, first one has been proved. Now, we are going to prove the second one. We are going to prove the second one. This, this, this one, I am going to prove this one. I am an equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power mx cos to the power mx dx this is equal to 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power n minus 1x sin to the power mx cos x dx we can put in this way cos to the power nx has been written as cos to the power n minus 1x into cos x cos to the power n minus 1x into cos x <coughs> this is equal to now integrate this by parts regarding sin to the power mx cos x as the second function first function cos to the power n minus 1x into integration of this function will be equal to sin to the power m plus 1x divided by m plus 1 0 to pi by 2 we are integrating between the 0 to pi by 2 minus integral 0 to pi by 2 the differentiation of the first function n minus 1 cos to the power n minus 2x the differentiation of cos x is minus sin x integration of this is sin to the power m plus 1x divided by m plus 1 Integrating by parts, 
regarding sine to the power mx cos x as the second function. You may write here integrating by parts. By parts regarding <coughs> regarding sine to the power mx into cos x as the second function. As the second function. Integrating by parts, this is the second function. Now, see here. <coughs> cos to the power n minus 1x. If you put pi by 2 for x, cos pi by 2 equal to 0. Therefore, the contribution, if you put x is equal to pi by 2, will be equal to 0. Because cos to the power n minus 1x into sin to the power m plus 1x will be equal to 0. Since cos pi by 2 equal to 0. Now, from if you put the <coughs> lower limit 0, sin 0 will be equal to 0. Sin 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, total contribution from this will be equal to 0. 0 minus 0. Since cos pi by 2 equal to 0 and sin 0, this is also equal to 0. The contribution will be equal to 0 minus 0. 0 minus 0. It will be 0 minus <coughs> 0. Since cos pi by 2 equal to 0, sin 0, this is equal to 0. Minus, minus, it will be plus. n minus 1 divided by m plus m, 1. n minus 1 divided by m plus 1 into integration 0 to pi by 2. You see, sin to the power m plus 1x into sin x will be equal to sin to the power m plus 2x which can be written as sin to the power mx into sin square x sin to the power mx first write here sin to the power mx into cos to the power m minus 2x into again sin square x dx. into sin square x dx <coughs> Uh, here you may write since cos pi by 2 this is equal to 0 sin 0 equal to 0 therefore this value will be equal to 0 this means i am m equal to m n minus 1 by m plus 1 n minus 1 divided by m plus 1 integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power mx cos to the power n minus 2x sin square x means 1 minus cos square x dx you may write like this this means i am m equal to m minus 1 by m plus 1 integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power mx cos to the power n minus 2x dx minus minus m minus 1 by m plus 1 integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power mx now multiply this and this cos to the power m minus 2x into cos square x will be equal to cos to the power nx will be equal to cos to the power nx dx This means I am n equal to m minus 1 by m plus 1. It is nothing but I am n minus 2 minus n minus 1 by m plus 1. I am n. This is equal to I am n. <coughs> this means now this term. Bring this term to the left hand side. 1 plus m minus 1 by m plus 1. I am n. This is equal to m minus 1 by m plus 1. I am n minus 2. I am n minus 2. Multiply by m plus 1. 
multiply both sides by m plus 1 m plus 1 plus n minus 1 i m n equal to n minus 1 into i m n minus 2 now plus 1 minus 1 will be cancelled now divide both sides by m plus n then you will get i m n equal to n minus 1 by m plus n I am n minus 2. See? I am n equal to n minus 1 by m plus n. I am n minus 2. I am n minus 2. What is I am n? Integration 0 to pi by 2. Sin to the power mx into cos to the power nx. Sin to the power mx into cos to the power nx. Will be equal to n minus 1 by m plus n. I am n minus 2. Excuse me. <coughs> Now, I am going to prove the third one. I am going to prove the third I am an unequal to. I am an equal to integration 0 to pi by 2. Sine to the power mx cos to the power nx dx. Now, as before, write sine to the power m minus 1x cos to the power nx into sine x dx. Right like this. You may write like this. This is equal to integrate by parts regarding cos to the power n nx sin x as the second function first function sin to the power m minus 1x integration of the second function minus cos to the power m plus 1x by m plus 1 minus integration 0 to pi by 2 and you will put the limit 0 to pi by 2 m minus 1 <coughs> m minus 1 differentiation of this sine to the power m minus 2x into cos x into <coughs> minus cos to the power <coughs> m plus 1 by m plus 1 into this you may write here integrating by you may write <coughs> integrating by parts Integrating by parts regarding cos to the power nx sin x as the second function as the second function regarding this as the second function. <coughs> now, if you put pi by two here, sin pi by two means one, cos pi by two means zero. This means that if you put pi by 2, this term will be equal to 0. Now, we will put 0. Sin 0 is equal to 0. Cos pi by 2 equal to 0. And sin 0 equal to 0. What does it mean? No contribution from this term. 0 minus 0. This will be equal to 0 minus 0. Minus minus means plus. M minus 1 by M plus 1. M minus 1 by M plus 1. Into integration 0 to pi by 2. Sin to the power M minus 2x. Cos to the power Nx. Cos to the power Nx. Into cos x. It will be cos to the power N plus 2x. Which can be written as cos to the power Nx into cos square x. For cos square x, you may write 1 minus sin square x. You may write here, since cos x into cos to the power n plus 1 x, this is equal to cos to the power n plus 2 x, this is equal to cos to the power n x into cos square x, this is equal to cos to the power n x into 1 minus sin square x. 
You may write like this. <clears throat> this means I am M. <clears throat> M minus 1 by M plus 1. M minus 1 by M plus 1. This multiplied by 1 means integration 0 to pi by 2. Sign to the power m minus 2x into cos to the power nx dx minus m minus 1 by n plus 1. n minus 1 by m plus 1. Sign to the power m minus 2x into sin square x is sine to the power mx. Integration 0 to pi by 2. Sine to the power mx cos to the power mx dx. This means I am m equal to m minus 1 by m plus 1. It is nothing but I am minus 2 m sin x whole to the power m minus 2 before comma we should write m minus 2 after comma we should write m minus m minus 1 by m plus 1 i m m this means 1 plus m minus 1 by m plus 1 i m m this is equal to m minus 1 by m plus 1 i m minus 2 m I am multiply both sides by n plus one. I am n. M minus one by n plus one. I am minus two n. Plus one minus one will be that same. This means I am n equal to. Divide both sides by, <coughs> I am very sorry, because it is, this is equal to, we are multiplying both sides uh, by n plus 1. There will be no uh, n plus 1 in the denominator. It will be simply m minus 1 into this. It will be simply m minus 1 into this. This is equal to m minus 1 by m plus n. I am minus 2 n. This is an another formula. Remember this one also. I am n equal to m minus 1 by m plus n. I am minus 2. Yeah. This formula is known as Wallis. <coughs> now we shall apply uh, this <coughs> to solve some very interesting problem. Integration 0 to pi by 2. Sin to the power 4x or square x dx. In the last class, we solved this uh, problem in an another way. We shall pro uh, solve now this in this way. It may be written as i for 2. For m, it is 4. For m, it is 2. Therefore, you may write here. I for two. Now we apply this theory, just this theory. No, uh, the previous one, previous one. I am m equal to m minus one by m plus m. I am m minus two. I am going to use this. This is equal to two minus one by four plus two. Two minus one by four plus two. I four. Two minus two. This is equal to 1 by 6, I 4, 0. 1 by 6, I 4, 0. This is equal to 1 by 6, integration 0 to pi by 2, sine to the power 4x, cos x whole to the power 0. You may write like this. This is equal to 1 by 6, integration 0 to pi by 2, sine to the power 4x dx. This can be written as 1 by 6, 3 by 4, 1 by 2, pi by 2, 
without the integrity you may find that value. 3 by 4, 1 by 2 into pi by 2, it is even. <coughs> this is equal to pi by 30. Answer will be equal to pi by 30. Answer is, will be equal to pi by 30. Now let us take another problem. If we have 0 to pi by 2, sin square x into cos cube x. Suppose sin square x into cos cube x. It may be written as, it can be written as i to 3. It is i to 3. This is equal to i to 3. This is equal to 3 minus 1 by 2 plus 3 i to 3 minus 2 i to 3 minus 2 I will apply this one this one this is equal to 1 or 2 by 5 2 by 5 i to 1 this is equal to 2 by 5 integration 0 to pi by 2 sin square x into cos x dx which can be easily integrated sin cube x divided by 3 0 to pi by 2 is not it sin x is equal to z cos x dx dz z square dz Integration is z cube by 3, means sin cube x divided by 3, limit 0 to pi 2. 2 by 15, sin cube pi by 2 minus sin cube 0. This is equal to 2 by 15, 1 minus 0, equal to 2 by 15. Is it? by 3. If I want to <coughs> prove this in an another way, integration 0 to pi by 2, sin square x cos cube x dx, this is equal to i to 3, you may write here 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 3, 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 3, i 2 minus 2, 3, Apply this, this one, apply this one, m minus 1 by m plus 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 3. I, m minus 2, m, 2 minus 2, 3. This is equal to 1 by 5. I, 0, 3. It will be I, 0, 3. This is equal to 1 by 5. Integration 0, 2 by by 2. Sin x, whole to the power 0, cos cube x, dx. Cos cube x, dx. This is equal to 1 by 5, 0 to pi by 2, cos cube x, dx. This is equal to 1 by 5, it is nothing but 2 by 3, answer 2 by 15. It is odd, therefore answer will be 2 by 3. In the last class, we discuss about this. 2 by, this is equal to 2 by 15. In this way, we can solve this type of problem. <clears throat> now, let us discuss some problems. First, I shall uh, write this problem here. Yeah? Then I, uh, I shall um, <coughs> solve these five problems today. Now. <coughs> One by one, I, I am going to prove. <coughs> Number one. Integration 0 to pi by 2. Sin to the power 4x. Cos to the power 6x dx. 6x dx. You see, 0 to pi by 2. Sin to the power 4x. Cos to the power 6x. What will be this? It will be definitely i for 6. For m, it is 4. M for M, it is 6, I for 6. 
this can be written as 4 minus 1 divided by 4 plus 6 i 4 minus 2 comma 6 it can be written like this the theorem is integration by imn imn this is equal to m minus 1 by m plus m i m minus 2 m this i uh, i have uh, used this formula for m it is 4 therefore 4 minus 1 by 4 plus 6 i 4 minus 2 6 this is equal to 3 divided by 10 i 2 6 this is equal to 3 divided by 10 again apply this one into i 2 minus 2 6 again apply this one again apply this you will get 3 by 10 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 6 i 2 minus 2 6 this is equal to 3 by 10 1 divided by 8 i 0 6 i 0 6 this is equal to 3 divided by 80 i06 means 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power 6x dx since sin x whole to the power 0 equal to 1 sin x whole to the power 0 this is equal to 1 this is equal to 3 by 80 into 5 by 6 3 by 4 1 by 2 into pi by 2 you may write like this now 3 here it will be 2 5 16 and uh, this is equal to thrice pi divided by 16 into 2 32 32 into 2 64 64 into 2 128 128 128 into 2 256 256 into 2 uh, 250 into 2 means 300, uh, 500, 512, this will be equal to 512, it is 512, thrice pi divided by 512, this problem has been done, we have solved this problem, perhaps you understand this, <coughs> write this, one, question number one, we have solved question number one, now, C number two. C number two. Number two. It is <coughs> integration zero to pi. It is not pi by two. It is pi sine to the power six x by two cos to the power eight x by two dx sin to the power 6 x by 2 cos to the power 8 x by 2 now put put x by 2 equal to theta this means dx equal to 2 d theta x equal to 0 implies theta equal to 0 x equal to pi this means theta is equal to pi by 2 theta is equal to pi by 2 theta is equal to pi by 2 Therefore, the integration i equal to 0 to pi sin to the power 6 x by 2 cos to the power 8 x by 2 dx. This is equal to integration theta equal to 0 to pi by 2. Sin to the power 6 x by 2 means theta. Cos to the power 8 x by 2 means theta. Cos to the power 8. What is uh, dx? dx is equal to 2 times of d theta. 2 times of d theta. Now see, this is equal to 2 times of 2 times of 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power 6 theta cos to the power 8 theta d theta. It is nothing but i 6 8. It is nothing but i 6 8. Limit is 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power 6 cos to the power 8 it is i6 a this is equal to 2 6 minus 1 by 6 plus a 
I 6 minus 2 8 2 times 4 5 14 I put it is not it I put it 2 this is 7 5 by 7 I put I put it for I put it you may write 4 minus 1 by 4 plus 8 I 4 minus 2 8 you may write like this this is equal to 5 by 7 into 3 by 12 I 2 8 4 this is equal to 5 by 28 I 2 8 2 comma 8 2 8 means 2 comma 8 I put it. This is equal to 5 by 28. I 2 8 means 2 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 8. I 2 minus 2 8. 2 minus 2 8. This is equal to 5 by 28. 1 by 10. I 0 8. It is nothing but 1 by 56 integration 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power 8 uh, you know <coughs> you may write here, here about theta d theta theta d theta or phi d phi or uh, you know cos to the power 8x dx same thing this is equal to 1 by 56 56 what will be this 7 by 8 into 5 by 6 into 3 by 4 into 1 by 2 into pi by 2 simple it will be equal to 8 this is equal to 2 this is equal to 5 pi divided by 64 into 2 64 into 2 means 128 128 64 into 2 means 128. 128 into 2. 128 into 2 will be equal to 256. 256 multiplied by 8. This is equal to 5 pi divided by 2048. 5 pi divided by 2048 is not it. 5 pi divided by 2048. We have proved this one also. 5 pi divided by 2048. Yes. 5 pi divided by 2048. <coughs> now, this one and this one have been proved. Now, <coughs> I am going to prove number 3. Number 3. I am going to prove number 3. Number 3. You see, it is very simple. Very simple. Number 3. Integration 0 to pi by 2. It is pi by 2. Cos to the power 5x into sin 36. This is equal to 0 to pi by 2. Cos to the power 5x. It may be written as 3 x minus 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x. This is equal to 3 times of integral 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power 5 x into sin x dx minus 4 times of integral 0 to pi by 2 cos uh, sin cube x into cos to the power 5 x dx. This is equal to 3 times of to integrate this one you see. To integrate this one, you see, if you put cos theta is equal to cos x is equal to z, sin x, sin x dx will be equal to minus dz. Means z to the power 5 into minus dz, minus z to the power 6 divided by 6. Means minus cos to the power 6x divided by 6, it will be 0 to pi by 2. Minus 4, the last theorem. Tells us to write 
I three five. You see sine whole to the power three, cosine whole to the power five. This is equal to <coughs> minus three by six, cos to the power six pi by two, minus cos to the power six zero, minus four times four. It will be three minus one by three plus five. I three minus two five. It will be like this. It will be like this. It will be like this. This is equal to minus half. Cos pi by two means zero minus one. Zero cos zero means one. Zero minus one minus four into two divided by eight into i1 5 this is equal to 1 by 2 minus 2 to cancel minus simply integration from 0 to pi by 2 sin x cos to the power 5x dx cos to the power 5x dx 1 by 2 minus what will be this simple cos to the power 6x divided by 6 0 to pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 this is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 6 cos to the power 6 pi by 2 minus cos to the power 6 0 it will be like this this is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 6 0 minus 1 this is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 equal to 6 3 minus 1 2 by 6 this is equal to 1 by 3 answer it is 1 by 3. You see, sir, it is 1 by 3. This problem also has been solved. 1 by 3. <coughs> now, see the number 4. <coughs> number 4. What is number 4? 0 to pi by 2. 0 to pi by 4. Not pi by 2. It is pi by 4. Cos twice theta. Whole to the power 3 by 2 cos theta d theta cos theta d theta. You see here, this is equal to 0 to pi by 4 pi by 4 in the class uh, 11 level. You got uh, the formula of cos twice theta. What is cos twice theta? Equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta. Number one. Number one, cos square theta minus sin square theta. Number two, one minus twice sin square theta. Number three, twice cos square theta minus one. Number four, one minus ten square theta divided by one plus ten square theta. You see here. Here it is cos theta d theta cos theta d theta for cos twice theta you should put 1 minus twice sin square theta 1 minus twice sin square theta you should put this cos theta d theta you should put this one Now, you see here, if you put sin theta equal to z, cos theta d theta will be equal to dz. Sin theta equal to z means cos theta d theta will be equal to dz. For our convenience, put root 2, twice sin square theta means root 2 into sin theta whole square. Root 2 sin theta, you may put root 2 sin theta equal to x root 2 sin theta equal to x then you can uh, if you put root 2 sin theta equal to x then you will find a relation a, a find integration in terms of x the limit will be equal to 0 to if it is pi by 4 it will be equal to 1 root 2 into uh, sin uh, pi by 4 means root 2 into 1 by root 2 equal to 0 to 1 for your convenience, 
उमे राई दिया साइन भाई रुत्तु साइन दिता इक्वल टू साइन भाई रुत्तु साइन दिता दिस इज इक्वल टू साइन भाई दिस मींस रुत्तु कॉस थीटा दिस थीटा इक्वल टू कॉस फाइ डी फाइ उमे राई लाइक दिस दिस मींस कॉस थीटा दिस थीटा इक्वल टू वन बाय रुत्तु कॉस फाइ डी फाइ उमे राई लाइक दिस नाउ Theta equal to zero implies phi equal to what? Sine zero means zero. It will be zero. Phi equal to zero. Theta equal to pi by four. This means phi equal to what? Theta is equal to pi by four. Sine pi by four is equal to what? One by root two. Root two into one by root two is equal to one. This means sine phi equal to one. Phi equal to pi by two. Phi equal to pi by two. Phi equal to pi by two. Therefore, the integral will be equal to. This is uh, the integral i. Therefore, integral will be equal to integration phi equal to zero to pi by two. One minus root two sine theta means sine phi. Sine square phi whole to the power three by two cos theta d theta means. One by root two cos phi d phi cos phi d phi. This is equal to integration zero to pi by two. One minus sine square theta sine square phi cos square phi cos square phi whole to the power three by two cos cube phi. It will be cos cube phi into one by root two into cos phi d phi cos phi d phi. This is equal to one by root two. Integration zero to pi by two. Cos to the power four pi d pi. It is very simple. It becomes very simple. Three by four into one by two into pi by two. This is equal to thrice pi divided by sixteen root two. Here, you see, thrice pi divided by sixteen root two. Thrice pi divided by sixteen root two. Thrice pi by sixteen root two. Yes, we have proved number four also. We have proved number four. Now, <coughs> today's last problem, <coughs> number five. Number five. I equal to integration zero to one. X to the power six. One minus x square whole to the power half dx. Put x equal to sine theta. This means dx equal to cos theta d theta. Cos theta d theta. X equal to zero implies theta is equal to zero. X is equal to one implies theta is equal to pi by two. Theta is equal to pi by two. Is equal to pi by two. I am going to prove the number six. See the equal to five. Number five. Therefore, I equal to integration theta is equal to zero means zero. One means pi by two. X to the power six means sine to the power six theta. One minus sine square theta. Whole to the power half. Dx means cos theta d theta. This is equal to zero to pi by two. Sine to the power six theta. One minus sine square cos square theta. Cos theta cos theta into cos theta will be equal to cos square theta. Cos square theta d theta. It is nothing but i six two. This is equal to two minus one by six plus two. I six two minus two. This is equal to one divided by eight. I six zero. I six zero. This is equal to one by a integration zero to pi by two sine to the power six theta d theta because cos uh, theta whole to the power zero equal to one. This is equal to simply five by six into three by four into one by two into pi by two three. 
This is equal to pi pi divided by 64 into 4. This is equal to pi pi divided by 256. 256. Pi pi divided by 256. Pi pi divided by 256. Dear students, I want to stop here. <clears throat> In the next class, we shall meet again and we shall discuss reduction about reduction formula also. Reduction formula. We shall discuss another problem on reduction formula. Thank, thanks for attending the class. Thank you very much. Thank you.